As expected, the change in gravitational potential energy does not depend on where we choose na zero yung potential energy natin or in other words, hindi siya nakadepende dun sa reference line nor does it depend on the path taken between the initial and final points. Imagine we have an object and kailangan nating i-lift yung object na yun from floor to a certain height. So, para ma-lift natin yung object na yun, kailangan natin mag-provide ng work. Once nandun na siya sa certain height, yung object has zero kinetic energy just as it did on the floor habang nakarest yung object. Even so, yung work done in lifting that object has not been lost. If the object is allowed to fall from the height, na nabanggit natin kanina, gravity does the same amount of work on it as you did para may lift yung object na yun in the first place. And as a result, yung work na ipinrovide natin is recovered in the form of kinetic energy. Thus, we say that when the ball is lifted to a new position, there is an increase dun sa tinatawag natin na potential energy. And this potential energy can be converted to kinetic energy when the ball falls. In a sense, Potential energy is a storage system for energy. When we increase the separation between the object and the ground, yung work na ibinibigay natin is stored in the form of an increased potential energy. And not only that, but the storage system is perfect in the sense that yung energy is never lost along as the separation remains the same. So yung object na pinag-usapan natin kanina can rest on that certain height na pinaglagyan natin for a million years and still, kapag nahulog siya, it gains the same amount of kinetic energy. Potential energy is the energy associated with forces that vary with the position or configuration of an object. So, whenever magsasolve tayo ng problem sa potential energy, laging mahalaga yung position ng object na ikinoconsider natin. There is no potential energy associated with non-conservative forces, only sa conservative forces. In this lecture video, in sa pang susunod pa nating lecture videos, meron tayong dalawang main types sa pag-aaralan for potential energy, the gravitational and the elastic potential energy. And let's start with the gravitational potential energy. In this figure, a book of certain mass falls from a height, initial y, to a height of final y, where the positive y coordinate represents the position above the ground. Kung ineneglect natin yung air resistance habang pabagsak yung book, so that yung only force na nag act sa book is the gravitational force or yung kanyang weight. So, gaano ba kalaking work ang nagawa in this figure? The magnitude of the force is mass times gravity and that of the displacement is change of y. We have etong part na to. This is change of y equals Initial y minus final y. This is a positive number. While naman yung both force and yung change of position and are pointing downwards. Pababa yung force natin, eto, yung gravitational force, as well as yung displacement natin. So the angle between them is zero. Walang angle. Parallel sila. And we apply the definition of work. We have work done by the gravity is equal to force times the distance. So, kung i-consider natin angle, which is zero, lagay natin as cosine theta. We have here, work done by the gravity. Ang force natin is yung weight, gravitational force, mass times gravity. Times the distance. Ang distance na i-consider natin is itong change in displacement or yung delta y. We have initial y minus final y. Para malaman natin yung change in displacement, ito yung pinakamataas na height and ito yung lower height. Ito yung kailangan natin height. Kaya, dun sa initial position, isinubtract natin yung final position. And we have cosine. Since parallel yung force dun sa displacement, zero angle. And this is equal to 1 lang din. Simply, from these derivations, ang main equation natin for gravitational potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times dy or yung kanyang position where g is the acceleration due to gravity and y is the vertical position of the mass relative to the surface of the earth or some other reference point na ibibigay sa problem na may encounter natin. Gravitational potential energy, ang unit din natin na gagamitin is simply joule lang din. 
Gravitational potential energy depends only on the height and is independent of the horizontal position. Kaya nga yung y na, makikita, na nakikita natin dito sa formula natin is laging vertical positions lang yan. Example number 1. A 6 feet tall person lifts a 1.65 kilogram book off the ground so it is 2.2 meters above the ground. What is the potential energy of the book relative to the ground and the top of the person's head? For example, this is the ground and this is the person and inangat niya yung book. This is the book. And merong mass yung book na 1.65 kilograms. Ang height ng person is 6 feet. And nung inangat niya yung book, nandito na yung book sa height na 2.2 meters. Ngayon, the question is, what is the potential energy of the book relative sa ground? Ito yung ating reference line. Pangalawa, potential energy relative to the top of the person's head. Letter A. Relative to the ground, gagamitin lang natin yung equation natin na gravitational potential energy equals mass times the gravity times yung position. Gravitational potential energy is equal to, ang mass ng book is 1.65 kilograms times acceleration due to gravity meters per second square. And ang position relative to the ground is 2.2 meters. The gravitational potential energy is now equal to 35.62 joules. For letter B naman, relative dun sa top of the person's head dito sa point na to. Ibig sabihin, ang y natin is 6 feet. Kaya lang, we have to convert yung 6 feet into meters. Gravitational potential energy is equal to, again, mass times gravity times y. Yung y na yan is yung top of the person's head. Ang mass natin is 1.65 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square. Ang y natin is 6 feet. And again, we have to convert this one into meters. To multiply natin into 0 0.3048 meters and equivalent sa 1 feet. Makakancel itong feet. Ang matitara is meters. By calculating, ang gravitational potential energy relative to the top of the person's head is equal to 29.602 joules. So again, from our definition of gravitational potential energy, lagi lang tayo nakadependent dun sa position ng object na consider natin. So this is example number 1. Example number 2. An 82 kilogram mountain climber is in the final stage of the ascent of 4,301 meter high Pikes Peak. What is the change in gravitational potential energy as the climber gains the last 100 meters of altitude? Let the potential energy equal 0 be at A at sea level or B at the top of the peak. For example, this is the peak of the mountain. And this is the mountain climber. So before the peak, Merong 100 meters na altitude before niya ma-reach yung peak ng mountain. So again, in this sketch, pinapakita natin dito yung mountain climber and the last 100 meters of altitude na kailangan pa niyang i-climb. So we choose a typical coordinate system. For example, uh, again, this is the positive sides with the positive y-axis upward and the positive x-axis to the right. The gravitational potential energy of the earth climber system depends only on the height. The path followed in gaining the last 100 meters of altitude is unimportant. Hindi na siya magmamatter sa solution natin. Yung change in potential energy, we have delta PE. And this is equal to PE final minus PE initial. Where yung final position natin is the altitude of the peak. And yung initial position naman natin is yung 100 meters less than the final position. Given sa atin yung mass ng climber, we have 82 kilograms. And yung difference in altitude, we have 100 meters. Letter A, yung zero yung potential energy natin at sea level. And letter B, zero naman sa top of the peak. So, ano yung magiging principle natin dito? Let's start with letter A. Pag sinabi natin zero, yung potential energy natin, dun sa sea level, ibig sabihin, ang reference line natin is, for example, ito yung buong mountain and ito yung C natin. So, dito sa C level natin, ito yung reference natin, dito yung Y is 0. Kaya nga, 
we have no potential energy here kasi pag minultiply mo yung mass times gravity times the y equals to zero, zero yung potential energy niya. Ibig sabihin, pag sinabi natin, zero ang potential energy at sea level, siya yung ating reference line. Yung y final natin is equal to the highest peak, 4,301 meters. And ang y initial naman natin is, yung position ng climber, we have 4,201 meters. And ito yung ilalagay natin sa equation to solve for the change in potential energy. So, change in PE is equal to mg y final minus mg y initial. And by substituting the values, pwede na natin i-factor out yung mass and yung gravity since pareho lang naman sila. We have y final minus y initial. Change in PE is equal to ang masses we have 82 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square times y final na 4,301 meters minus y initial na 4,201 meters. This is the y final and this is the y initial. By calculating, change in the potential energy is equal to 80,442 joules. For letter B naman, zero ang potential energy natin at the top of the peak. Ibig sabihin, siya yung magiging reference natin. Draw ulit natin. Ito ngayon yung ating magiging reference. Kaya dun yung zero yung potential energy natin. Pagbabago yung value ng y final at y initial natin. For letter B, ang reference natin is yung top of the peak ng mountain. Ang y final na natin dito is equal to 0. And ang y initial natin is location pa rin ng climber. This is negative 100 na. 100 meters again. Et, eto yung ating coordinate na sinusunod. This is the positive y and this is the positive x. Since eto yung ating Since ito yung ating reference, andito yung climber. So, bibilangin natin pababa yung kanyang position. And this is downwards. Kaya naging negative yung y initial natin. Dahil pababa. Again, take note sa gravitational potential energy. Lagi tayong detepende dun sa reference line na babanggitin ng problem. Change in PE is equal to mass times gravity times y final minus y initial. And by substituting the values, Change in P is equal to 82 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square times ang y final natin is 0 minus negative 100 meters. By calculating, change in potential energy is equal to 80,442 joules pa din. As expected, the change in gravitational potential energy does not depend on where we choose na zero yung potential energy natin. Or in other words, hindi siya nakadepende dun sa reference line nor does it depend on the path taken between the initial and final points. So this is example number two. Example number three, children are playing on the top of a hill with three different height levels using a wooden cart of mass 350 kilograms. Second level is the highest point, 13 meters above the starting level and 37 meters above the last level. Letter A, find the gravitational potential energy at the second and third level relative to the starting point. Letter B, find the change in potential energy when the cart goes from the second level down to the last level. And letter C, find the gravitational potential energy at the second level relative to the lowest point. For example, this is the hill. And this is the first level, this is the second level, and this is the third level. According to the problem, yung second level is 13 meters above the starting level. This is 13 meters. And 37 meters above the last level. And that makes it 24 meters itong pagitan ng level 1 up to level 3. For letter A, kailangan lang natin hanapin yung gravitational potential energy ng second level and yung gravitational potential energy ng third level. So, we have two required potential energies. Letter A, ang relative point natin is starting point, which is yung level 1. So, at level 
ang y natin is 0 kasi siya yung reference natin. And therefore, there is no potential energy at level 1. For potential energy at second level, we have mass times gravity times y2. And this is equal to 350 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square times ang y2 natin is positive 13 meters. Again, ito ulit yung ating coordinate system. By calculating, ang potential energy natin at level 2 is equal to 44,635.5 joules. Potential energy naman at level 3, we have PE3 and this is equal to mass times gravity times Y3, 350 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square and ang Y3 3 naman natin is equal to 24 negative. Again, bakit naging 24 negative? Kasi ang reference again natin is itong level na to. This is our reference line. And pababa yung 24 na yan. So, therefore, negative 24 meters siya. And by calculating, potential energy natin at level 3 is equal to negative 82,404.0 joules. For letter B naman, the change in potential energy when the cart goes from second level down to the last level. Change in PE is equal to, ang last level natin is yung level 3, so this is PE3 minus PE2. Ang reference line pa rin natin sa letter B is yung level 1 pa din. Change in PE is equal to, Ang PE3 natin is yung nakuha natin sa letter A as well as the PE2. So this is negative 82,404.0 joules minus PE2 is equal to 44,635.5 joules. By calculating, change in potential energy is equal to negative 127,039.5 joules. For letter C, we are asked to find the gravitational potential energy at the second level relative to the lowest point. So, at level 3, ang reference natin is level 3, so this is 0. And ang potential energy natin at level 3, assuming that, yun ang reference natin ay 0. The potential energy of level 2, reference from level 3, this is equal to mass times gravity times y2. PE2 is equal to, ang mass natin is 350 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square times ang Y2 natin is, ito yung ating reference and ito yung kinocompute natin na potential energy. Therefore, ang Y natin is equal to 13 plus 24. By calculating, ang potential energy natin at level 2 is equal to 127,039.5 joules. In this problem, ang tinatakal naman dito is yung mga given relative points kung saan tayo mag-reference at kung paano nagkakaroon ng pagbabago depende dun sa relative points or reference lines natin. So, this is example number 3.